Our story today is about a man named Jonah. Now Jonah was a person that God gave a special message to and he told Jonah, I need you to go to the people of Nineveh. They are doing lots of really bad things and I need you to go and tell them about me and tell them how they can change their ways. But Jonah did not want to go. He thought those people are very wicked. They won't listen to me. I don't want to go. So Jonah decided that he was going to go and get on a ship that was going the other direction, far away from Nineveh. He didn't want to go at all. And he decided he would go down in the bottom of the ship and he went to sleep down there. He thought he could just hide way down in the bottom of the ship and even God maybe couldn't find him. So the ship left the dock and started sailing out into the ocean. But then a great big storm came and the boat was getting tossed and turned every which way. And it was a very, very, very bad storm. The sailors were not sure if they would live. And they started taking things out of the boat and tossing it into the, the water. They took their food, they took their baskets and barrels and everything from the boat and still they were afraid it was too heavy and it was going to sink in the storm and they started calling out to their gods they didn't know Jesus but they prayed to the gods they thought they knew but nothing happened and then they said where's Jonah and then they found him sleeping down in the bottom of the boat and they said Jonah get up Pray to your God, we're going to die. And Jonah knew that God knew where he was, and God had sent the storm. And so he said, it's my fault. My God made this ocean. He made the wind. He made the rain. It's my fault. I'm trying to run away from him, and he sent this big storm. I think you need to throw me into the ocean, and then the storm will go away. And the people did not want to do that to him. But finally, he convinced them to throw him into the water. And when they had done that, the storm immediately went away. And he started to go down, down, down into the water. But then God sent a big fish to come and get Jonah and took him down. Now Jonah was in the belly of that great big fish for three days and three nights. And during that time, do you suppose that maybe he was thinking that what he had done wasn't such a good idea? I think so. And he prayed that God would help him to get out of the belly of that big fish. And if God would help him, he would go to Nineveh and do as God had asked him to. And God heard Jonah's prayer. And after a while, God told that great big fish to bring Jonah up to the shore. And it came and spat Jonah out onto the shore and it went away. And Jonah got up and he looked around and he realized that God had answered his prayer and that he needed to go and talk to the people of Nineveh. When Jonah got to Nineveh, all the people came and listened to him and he told them about the God who rules the heavens who made them. And he told them that the things that they were doing were very, very wicked and that God wanted them to change their ways or he would destroy their city. All the people were very sorry when they realized that God wanted them to do something different. And they decided that they would change and do things that would please God. And God chose not to destroy their city because they had repented and turned to him. 
Our memory verse today is Obey the Voice of the Lord. This is from Jeremiah 26, 13. Jonah didn't obey the voice of the Lord. The people of Nineveh at first didn't obey the voice of the Lord, but then they all chose to do that. And God wants to help you to obey too. I'd like you to take a minute now and say your memory verse to your mom or dad. Jeremiah 26, verse 13. Obey the voice of the Lord.